Hello everybody, you're watching Channel 1, where in this video, using a combination of the Diag box uh, with associated software and your own head and knowledge of the car, um, you can remove fault codes and faults from your Citroen or Peugeot or presumably any car that you have using similar software. Well, hello everybody, yes, here we are. Uh, and with the suspension fault seemingly fixing itself as I say, uh, if you've watched previous videos you will know um, I didn't end up replacing anything to get things functioning as they should again uh, I'm going to go through the rest of the faults ignition on um, because I did notice some other faults um, during my initial diagnostics of the suspension. And I updated Windows on this laptop in the meantime. And now uh, instead of improving things it's made it go incredibly slowly. Right, and now uh, you'll see down here zero percent. It should one percent. Yes, start going through uh, doing a full diagnostics of all systems on the car. But it really is in no rush, like I say, since updating Windows. Still 1%. Ah, there we go. Yes, one fault in the built in systems interface. Five in the engine management ECU, which are the ones. Um, that were picked up on my initial diagnostics and fingers crossed there will be nothing anywhere else although with it only at eight percent it could take a bit longer than expected um, but this is what it does during the full diagnostics of the car um, it has its own list of all the ECUs and controls that the car has, uh, or potentially can have, um, it checks to see if they're fitted, and if they are fitted, it will check their function. Fourteen percent now. And you make it suspension. No faults. you'll see with some of these it will do a check if the ECU isn't there it just removes it from the list Look at forty four per cent now.
75% um, each one that goes green on here um, is something that it has tested uh, and as long as no numbers come up alongside of it there are no faults uh, that it's found in that system and out there passenger door module and it's got the right door open driver's door module it has the left door open hundred percent so we are done so let's have a look at this built-in systems I think I know what that one is um, diesel additive pump control um, which is the Eloy's system thing local characteristics uh, of the fault not characterized now uh, I have faults P1453 additive system, 143, sorry, 1435 additive system, uh, P1434 additive system, uh, I think I know why they are, P2299 accelerator pedal signal, uh, P1645 accelerator pedal stiff spot information, and P0104. Now, um, I'm aware of the additive system because when I looked previously, uh, in a different screen, um, it did tell me I have no additive in there. So I am going to do a video that, yes, it doesn't say anything there. Uh, now, accelerator pedal signal. It is showing me at some point at a speed of 8 km per hour. Um, the accelerator pedal position was 22%. Um, the main brake pedal status unspecified. Um, but. I haven't noticed any faults with the throttle. This is another throttle one. The accelerator pedal stiff spot information. Cruise control, no error. Accelerator pedal one voltage. Engine speed zero. Um, status intermittent again. And there is one here for the airflow sensor. If we scroll down, um, we have nature faults open circuit or short circuit, positive, O to positive, um, or to earth. All the spent, if I can get my teeth in, all the sensors supply, uh, or the signal. Now, uh, airflow per cylinder zero, um, air inlet temperature 335 degrees C. I can't believe that. And turbo pressure, hmm, 900 and something millibars. Uh, uh, engine speed, 0 RPM. Now, um, in a past video, um, when I did the air filter change, um, I disconnected the airflow sensor. And I can't remember at any point whether I ended up having the ignition on or off. So I am now going to go back to rip or go to repair. Because in here, with the speedy state that it is in, uh, if I now go up 
to the engine management. And I should be able to... Is it in repair, I wonder? Reading and clearing of faults. So I've done a full sweep of the car. Uh, and now I'm literally just looking at the one ECU. So, accelerator pedal signal. Um, while driving the car, I have had no issues with the accelerator pedal at all. It has always responded as I expect. Um, can I click on multiples of these? No. So I am going to just hit erase there. I have pushed it. Please note, uh, before erasing the faults, an after sale zone must be completed. There are 15 after sale zones already. Validate to continue. Uh, and that is basically just a memo, I think. Ah, warning, faults will be erased without storing in your after sale zone. Oh, okay. Mileage 87463987463 Kilometers, no, miles, but never mind. Ah, so information stored. So, so it is saved a, a new error, or, or a new record of erasing the error, error 16. So if you think it's only had 15 um, errors erased in the last 12 odd years since the car was made, that's not too bad. Switch off, ignition, and switch it on again. And on. Ah, it's now doing a new fault code. Oh, and it has erased now the airflow problem, uh, the throttle stiffness problem, and that throttle pedal signal problem. So they were clearly all related. Um, so by erasing one and getting a new fault check, I'm left just with the additive system, uh, which I say is going to be part of another video. Because I fear um, I am going to have to fit a new Eloise, I think they are, the additive bag. Um, to enable the uh, regeneration process to keep the uh, EGR valve and is it the fat valve, all the diesel particulate um, removing systems that are on the car to keep all those clean. Um, so, there are some other problems now cleared. And that essentially is a lot of the basics of using this Diagbox software. Uh, it will read your faults. Um, if, like me, you already have determined that it's not a real fault, uh, you can erase it. Um, once done, it will rescan. Uh, 
and obviously if it doesn't think it's there anymore um, it will be gone if tomorrow after I've driven the car uh, it has come back I will know it is a, a genuine fault which I need to look at um, like the fuel additive system is that keeps reoccurring um, so I'm going to do nothing with that for now so, uh, in terms of this, uh, I'm going to end it here. Um, I am slowly getting down to zero faults with the car. Uh, and hopefully we'll go through what I have left together. Uh, and it might be of some benefit to you. And there we have it. Um, combination of, yes, using my own knowledge of the car from driving as to whether you felt any faults, what you may have done to it in the past, uh, and of course the software telling you what it knows from the car. Uh, you can erase faults um, and feel quite confident your car is quite healthy. So if this has been of any use to you, uh, do please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel, I'd love to read your comments, so if you can leave me something in there as to what troubles you might be having or what you've done on your car. Uh, and I will also leave in the description below where I got this software and system from, um, for if you're feeling you need one yourself. So, thank you very much again, do take care, stay safe, peace everybody.